Hi everyone, kumusta po? Welcome to the channel. And this is the one is to one scale movie prop replica of the Iron Man Mark 50 Arc Reactor, licensed by Marvel. So, this is made and produced solely by Marvel at hindi ng other toy manufacturer. This is actually my very first movie prop replica, so medyo um, big deal to sa akin. Okay, so for this video, we are gonna do an unboxing and share our thoughts about this collectible item. And also, stick around until the end because we'll be announcing the very awaited winner of our Iron Man Mark I Arc Reactor Giveaway. If you haven't seen our unboxing and assembly video about that, you can check the cards on the upper right corner of your screen and click it. Or check the description below for the link. By the way, anytime within the video, you can check the description below. I'll be putting the link for this collectible item as well as the list of equipment and gears that I'm using in order to make content for this channel as well as their respective links. So, kung interesado ako sa mayon, check mo lang yung description sa baba. So, let's start with the unboxing. So, here is the box on front on the upper portion is the picture of the Mark 50 Arc Reactor with the glossy finish right there at mape parang design siya sa guild ng circuit 3 on the upper left corner is the Avengers Infinity War logo and on front there's nothing on the side Marvel Avengers Infinity War on the other side same lang din and at the back nakalagay dyan marvel.com then some um, may parang holographic steer siya for authenticity then other warning and information um, so let's unbox it na Oh, yan. So, on the other side, on the other side ng, ano, ng, ng cover, okay, parang direction siya. Nakatip lang nga eh. Tapos natin. Okay, so, sign mo natin. Direction siya with um, Chinese and English language, says there. Picture of the Mark 50 Arc Reactor, says there. Slightly touch the bottom on top. To turn on the light and some directions and other direction pa rito then pwede mo siya ilagay sa um, chest mo uh, ipit mo lang siya sa, sa sa damit mo sa shirt mo and masusupport mo siya via nakasupport siya via magnets there on the back um, same lang din actually same lang din pareho lang nakaprint lang siya back to back okay and Here is the arc reactor. Um, ang tignan mo natin is your arc reactor ito. So, ayan. Whew. As in, one is to one replica talaga siya. One is to one scale. Nakano siya ng plastic. There. Hmm. Nakaipit. Ano ba natin mo? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Ah! Ayun yung magnet. There. Okay. So, wait, tigam mo natin to. Plastic. Then, other may screws. Check natin screws. Tigam mo natin siya. Screws there. Um, mamaya malalaman natin para saan yung screws. Then, tapag mo natin. Of course. Here is the arc wrapper. Ilagay mo natin siya ulit balik. Then, And, okay, ayun. There. Parang, hindi siya na arc reactor. And, the other one is, this is the, I believe, the stand. And, this is, uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War, Iron Man Mark 50. Ayan. Tag natin. And, ah, uh, necklace. So, apparently, pwede mo siyang suotin as necklace. Another is this, parang, okay, acrylic arm. There, nakailangan mong pilasin to. So, pilasin natin siya ngayon. Ayan, whoops. Okay, so, yan. Then, ah, mayroon pa ba? Mayroon pa ba? 
So, yan. Wala na. Yun lang kasama sa package. So, let's take a closer look. The package includes the arc reactor there. And, I believe ito is yung para sa stand. And, the base stand arm and the stand at necklace as well as some screws and bolts. Tignan mo natin yung arc reactor. There. So, yun. Details. Grabe. Ganda. Um, yung center part is yung kung saan umiilaw. Parang hindi siya glossy. Matte siya. And, there's, makita yung details. Ganda. Uh, hindi ko lang sigurado kung ma-appreciate nyo on camera. But, personally, ang ganda niya, guys. And, yun, the back. Here. Then, um, this is where the magnets are. Itong part na to. Yan. And, ito, these are screws na parang, um, not sure kung dito mo ilalagay or think ko dito mo lang ilalagay yung yung necklace. And, this part houses the batteries. Uh, meron ba siyang kasamang batteries? Sana meron. <laughs> Oops, wala. Okay. So, wala. But, ang um, alam ko, um, the batteries that should be used in this is the CR2032 model yung sa kadalasan natin nakikita sa mga risk watches but most commonly used siya sa mga remote controls ng al car alarm and um, remote controls ng mga LED lights there. And syempre, um, bumili na rin ako yan. So here, Energizer. This is 22, ah, 2032 model. So, lagay na rin natin para matesting natin siya. Okay, so here are the CR2032 batteries. There. So, lagay natin siya. This side is the it's a positive side sa taas. There. Oops. So, apparently, <laughs> magnetized din siya. Oh, okay. So, this part, hindi, hindi siya magnetized. Hindi siya, siya magnet. I wonder kung ano to. But this part, ito lang yung magnet. So, yan. So, kita nyo naman. There. Anyway, tuloy lang natin. So, yan. Um, lagyan natin. Tatouch natin to. Oops. There. I believe may dalawang mood siya. Isa yung steady light and, and uh, the other one is yung parang nabiblink. Yun. So, medyo iba lang tignan sa screen. Pero subukan natin patay yung ilaw. Para mas makita natin. There. This is it kapag sa delight. Yan. Yan siya. Subukan so, natin yung completely dark. Yan. Yan siya. Then kapag yung blinking. Yan siya. Just edit yung shutter speed natin. There. Yan. Yan siya. Kapag blinking. As you can see. Um, di lang ganun kalino, but para siyang nagbibit. Yan siya. Um, sa camera, iba lang yung uh, nakikita lang yung lines. But, um, para siyang tumitibok. Yan. There. Iba lang. Pangit lang. Hindi lang ganun kaganda talaga yung camera na gamit ko ngayon, guys. And there. So, ako na. Pag nagla-line siya ng ganyan, hindi siya actually na, uh, sa personal, hindi talaga siya, nag, wala talaga lines na, na parang nagpo-project na sa kanya. Nasa shutter speed lang po ng camera ko. Hindi <laughs> lang ganun kaganda. But, um, para siyang tumitibok. Yan. Pag, yan. Pag, yung mga ganyan siya, pag nakikita niyo parang lines, ibig sabihin parang nagdi-dim yung ilaw niya. Then kapag nawawala, nag-steading light lang. Yan. So, steady lang natin siya. There. This one is para ipit mo lang sa sa shirt mo. Sa cloth. Tapos gagamitin mo siyang ano, um, 
parang nakaipit lang siya sa shirt mo mamaya testing natin so lagay mo natin siya dito there patay muna kita yan muna then the stand ito yung ano, base ng stand so you can see um plastic plastic na siya guys but yung paint job dito is parang maganda meta parang metallic siya yung first glance mo metallic siya metallic yung dating yan and lalo na to lalo na ito pag nakita mo Ayan, para sa mirror. Ayan, makita nyo ako. Hello. <laughs> yung gear na gagamit ko. Yes. Um, may parang... Yung engraving na Marvel Avengers para sa ano, um, sticker lang. Ayan. Ayan. I believe, uh, dito yung screws and nuts. Ayan. Ayan, dyan siya. So, and ito yung arm. Ito yung arm. Ayan siya. So, this goes... Here, I believe. So, i-assemble mo natin yung base. There. So, here it goes the nut. There. Then, washer. Sub side. And, screw that in. By the way, guys, this uses Allen screw. See right there, and of course, this one. Um, kailangan mo rin siya ng uh, gagamitan mo rin siya ng screws para mafit siya dito. There, there you go. So that's it, that's the stand, and if you'll please the arc reactor. Ganyan lang. There. Ayan yung tura niya. Talaga, guys. Ayan. So, let's take a look at the necklace. There. Necklace is parang stainless siya. Sana hindi siya cheap lang. Pero mukha naman siya hindi cheap na, ne na necklace. Na chain. Sorry. Chain. So, mayayari dito is... This is the lock. Tingnan natin. This one. So, tingin ko dito. Nakalusot yung leg lace. Yung chain, sorry. There. Okay. So, there you have this. Chain. And, hanapag na siya sa arc wrapper. There. So, ayan, medyo nakalabas siya. Or, pwede nga ka ganyan. Where you wear it. Ganyan. There. Okay. Display, pwede mo lang siyang i-display na kasama yung chain. Actually, hindi naman hindrance yun. Like, ganyan. Okay. Ayan, there you go. Okay. So here it is again, side by side, guys. So together with the stand and the arc reactor, displaying it will be around seven point five inches in height. Then, um, yung base niya is solely for the purpose of this piece. Pwede mo siyang um, ilagay kasama nitong part na to. And like so, but um. Hindi siya ganun ka-secure. Hindi siya ganun ka-secure talaga. Pero pwede mo siyang ilagay. Yan. But yung base lang talaga niya is for the sole purpose of this part. Meron siyang support dito and here para lang sa, sa piece na to. Then yan, pag ano, uga-uga mo. Secure naman siya. And for the base, although yung base niya is parang pasadya na parang for museum or display purposes, um, I think it would be nice kung parang ang style niya is parang diorama type, barang may nanotech um, base siya, ganun na angko pa rin sa movie na parang full, ano na siya, buong complete package na siya na movie prop replica, ganun but the base is um, really good, yung yung base niya, yung arm the acrylic arm, actually solid siya na acrylic, yan, solid siya na acrylic yan, 
um, yung kapal niya is 1cm thick. So, hindi siya, ano ah, hindi siya narrow na acrylic. Ano siya, talaga solid. Although, yung base niya is hindi ganun kabigat. Parang sinusupportan siya ng weight nitong acrylic na to. And, although the base is made of plastic, yung paint job dito sa Avengers logo. Baano mo natin? Avengers logo, yan. Uh, para siya matte, uh, metallic matte finish na rin. So, maganda na rin. And, yung label niya, mas maganda sana kung yung label niya is... Ang nakalagay kasi sa label niya, you can see there, Avengers Infinity War Iron Man Mark 50. So, mas maganda sana kung nakalagay is Iron Man Mark 50 Arc Reactor. So, yun. But, okay na rin, maganda natin siya for display purposes. And, uh, for this part, the chain, and I really don't see myself using it kasi um, kapag gagamitin mo siya, yan, sa shooting ko, um, sure na natin. Dito siya, sa malapit na siya sa lumalaki kong tiyan. Ayan. So, pwede ko siyang bawasan hanggang dyan. Para sa, hanggang siya sa chest ko. But, uh, actually, um, this part, which has the, this part, which has the magnet. This is a neodymium magnet. So, if I'm not mistaken. Um, strong magnet naman siya. So, kung gagamitin mo siya dito, ayan. Sufficient naman siya para mag-hold dun sa arc reactor. Yan. There. Yan. Sufficient naman siya. Oh. Yan. Actually, kahit umuga ko. Ganun. Uh, matibay naman siya. Secure naman siya. Yan. Yan. Secure siya. Yan. So, hindi mo na kailangan ng chain. And, um, another thing is how I wish yung sensor niya is hindi dito sa top. Yan. Yan. Sana hindi dito sa top. Mas gusto ko yung sana kung pwede is dito sa gitna or dito sa side para na replic o nagagaya mo yung yung scene sa Avengers Infinity War yung inactivate nito ni Mark 50 na parang tatap na lang yung dito sa gitna. Sa, top, sa gitna siya nagtap yan. But I understand kung bakit dito nilagay kasi nga kung sensor switch is nasa gitna uh, pag umilo yan ma makita yung sensor switch mabablock ng sensor switch yung luminance ng ilaw. Ayan, but, mas maganda sa kahit dito sa gilid. Ayan, or dito sa baba. Ayan, so na-activate. Then, um, lastly is how I wish that this uh, collectible figures or collectible items that has um, light up features has external power source. Gaya na lang ng Mark 1 arc reactor na ginawa natin. It can be powered by a uh, 5 volt power source via USB. So, sana, um, yung mga gantong collectible item na may light at features A, may ganun din at hindi lang uh, battery source. Which brings us to our new project. Gagawa natin doon ang external power source niya. Kagaya nung Mark 1 arc reactor na ginawa natin. So, if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified right away if ever na-upload ko na yung video para doon. Other than that, I can say this is a great collectible item for all Iron Man collectors out there. So, there. So, for our Mark 1 Arc Reactor giveaway, actually, walang nakasatisfy dun sa requirement natin for that giveaway. And, uh, nahirapan talaga ako kung sinong pipiliin ko na worthy para dun sa giveaway natin. But, nung nabasa ko yung comment nitong taong to, uh, actually, wala na. Uh, naisip ko, nung nabasa ko yung comment niya, wala na, finish na, may nanalo na. So, congratulations to... Maya Cusinero. Actually, um, uh, nung nabasa ko yung comment niya, um, uh, na nakapag-design na ako na siya yung worthy na manalo, manalo nung Mark 1 Arc Reactor natin. So, congratulations. I'll be contacting you by the comments below. Just please respond. Okay? So, that's it for now. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, share, and if you enjoy this channel's content, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified right away for any future content from this channel. Again, thank you very much for watching. This is RCHD and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! God bless. So, um, after using this, um, medyo na-realize ko, uh, di ba? Oh, sorry. 
may dalawang magnet strip dito. Hindi siya gan- sila dat- ganun ka-strong na magnet strip. Ang purpose nila is para uh, mas madali mong matanggal yung part na to dito sa part na to. Ito lang talaga yung malakas sa magnet. So, di ba? Ayan. Usually, ang unang ano mo, idea, idea mo na pagtanggal is tanggal na ganun. Ang proper way na pagtanggal sa kanya is slide mo. Ayan. Itong dalawang strip na to, yun yung tumutunong sa kanya para magawa yan. So, yun. Yung dapat kabit din. Slide. Ganun. Mas madali siyang gawin. And yun yung proper. So, and the chain. Ito yung chain. Uh, medyo, hindi ko siya pi, ano, uh, pintulan. Pero nilagyan ko lang ng other hook dito para medyo maikli siya. Para abot sa chest ko. Okay. Nilagyan na sinod na. So, sunod na natin. Let's go. Cool. 